Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show, and you're probably wondering, damn Aaron, what the hell's with you in indie games? First you did a review of Broforce, and then you did a review of Retro City Rampage, and now you want to do a review of Crown Physics Deluxe? What the hell's gotten into you? Why not review a brand new mainstream game? Let me guess, like Call of Damn Duty? Hell no! Why should I review that damn game right now? Why? You tell me, goddammit! If you don't tell me, I will shit on the windshield of your car or whatever you drive. Now you leave and get the hell out or you're fired! I'm sorry I yelled at you. Please don't cry. I didn't mean it. It's just that I'm not ready to do a review of Call of Duty yet, or even Battlefield. So this time I want to review another indie game. And this game I remember playing the demo for right before it was released. Crown Physics Deluxe is different compared to a lot of games, and in this game you actually have to use your brain a little bit. That's right, this is a puzzle game. <laughs> now you're probably wondering why I'm not reviewing the original Crown Physics, and just skipping to Crown Physics Deluxe. Well, the original Crown Physics was a prototype to this game, so pretty much Crown Physics Deluxe is the full and finished game. Crown Physics Deluxe was developed and published by Kluna Games. It was released in 2009. The Crown Physics prototype was originally released in 2007. The object of Crown Physics goes like this. You must guide a ball from its starting point to a star, which would be the ending point of the level. The ball and every object on screen are affected by gravity. You can't control the ball directly. You must draw objects on the screen that will help you get the ball to the star. Some levels will have you use objects that are on screen, and you must draw something that will work to get that ball to that star, which I think is pretty cool. The game challenges players to come up with creative ways to solve each puzzle, and will provide rewards for really creative ways to solve those puzzles, which is really nice. There are about 70 to 80 levels in this game, and there is also a level editor, so you can create some kick-ass levels. There is also an online playground where you can upload and download custom levels. I'm sure with this game being out as long as it has, there should be tons of custom levels out there for you to check out. Now you're probably thinking, oh damn, this game is easy and Aaron, you are the heavy metal gamer. You should be playing games about slaughtering enemies, saving bitch whores, cussing, and listening to heavy metal. Sure, I love a good violent game. Sure, I love heavy metal. But what's wrong with this game? Just because you use your brain a little bit, it's automatically crap? To be honest, I like this game. I I think it's great. At the time of the release, the game was a breath of fresh air in gaming. Sure, it was an indie game, but here are a couple of facts about this game. It has won many prizes at indie game festivals. Not only that, in 2008, Crown Physic Deluxe was more talked about than Gears of War 2 at the Game Developers Conference. That is cool. Sure, the game is different, but there's nothing wrong with something different in gaming. The graphics for Crown Physic Deluxe are pretty good. Everything is drawn out in Crown, which I really like. You don't see much of anything like that in a video game. The background looks like it's some sort of construction paper. The level select page has some cool drawings on it. Hell, some of these drawings look like something I would draw when I was a kid. Another way you could be creative, but is not part of the game, is that you can write words out, but of course it will just fall to the ground. Aw, damn it, it fell over. I has a sad. The game is very easy at first, and it pretty much gives you the easy level, so you can figure out what to do. But the later you get in the game, the tougher the game will get, which is cool. You gotta love puzzle games like this. The music and sound effects are good. The music fits this type of game, and of course it is not something I would listen to, because I normally listen to stuff that is hard rock or heavy metal, but I can't say that it's bad. Hell, the music is a little bit relaxing. Then again, if you don't like the music, and if you want, you can put on some overkill and play this game. Or how about some car how about Morbid Angel? Let the children come to me. The mother loves me so, so How about death? Always locking the door to your mind. Escaping reality that surrounds you. How about Motley Crue? Yeah, you get the point. The creation mode is cool. You get to use your own imagination and create your own puzzles. Although I am having a hard time with it, 
I'm sure after some practice, I can make a pretty badass level or two. The controls are simple and easy, and I don't think it gets much easier than using the mouse to draw stuff on the screen. If you have a problem with these controls, then I question why you even play video games in the first place. I can't complain one bit. I can't even find a reason to complain. If I had to rate Ground Physics Deluxe, I would give the game an 8.5 out of 10. A very fun indie game that I really think is something cool. If you want to check out Crown Physics Deluxe, you can buy the game from the Crown Physics website at www.crownphysics.com. You can download the demo from there to try the game out, and you can buy the full version for $19.95. They do have the game for Windows, Linux, and Mac. There are no sequels to Crown Physics at this time, although I have heard that there was a clone created for the Nintendo DS under the name Pocket Physics. If I can get a hold of that game, I will check it out. I hope you enjoyed this review of Crown Physics. I'm going to go use color crowns on the wall in the hallway. Thanks for watching. All the brown in the world can help you now. A killer in the